Hi, well, <clears throat> I wanted to say a little bit about Haworthias, which <clears throat> I always have a bit of a problem with because they constantly seem to be losing their roots. And I've watched lots of videos about this and read lots of articles where I've never really heard a satisfactory answer about why these plants do lose their roots so regularly. And a couple of weeks ago, maybe months ago in fact, I saw a short video um, about rooting Haworthias in water. Well, each of these three plants, that's Haworthia turgida there, Haworthia reducer, and Haworthia pamilla, each of these plants had lost their roots. Not a single root could be found on any of these plants. So what I decided to do is to follow the guy advice uh, to root these plants in a container of water. Um, it sounds really simple, doesn't it? I wonder if it is really that simple. Anyway, these plants have each been uh, sitting in water, water covering the base of the plants without roots, for several weeks now, probably close on to a month. And I just wanted to show you what they look like now after they've been sitting in water. And bear in mind, they've not had any roots on them at all. Let's go for the reducer first. <coughs> and you can see there that at the base of a number of the leaves, there's roots starting to show here um, and the offsets on the plant are starting to grow quite well. The main root axis doesn't seem to be producing many roots so far but I'm going to leave it and see what happens. But as I say, you can see the roots developing growing from the base of the leaves there. Just putting this one back now. <coughs> Let's have a look at the turgida. Again, <coughs> Sending out roots from the base of the leaves rather than from the main axis of the plant. So you can see the roots there coming out. And this plant is starting to green up and bulk up a bit. As you can see, the plant's looking really quite good considering it hasn't been in soil for months now, probably. And each of these offsets is looking good too. Let's have a look at the vanilla now. And this is the one that seems to have done the most. It's really got a good set of roots to it, and the roots have come from the main axis of the plant rather from, than from the base of the leaves. So what I'm going to try and do now is pot this plant up in soil and we'll see how it does. See if it loses the roots again next year. Um, but as you can see, it's done really well. It's producing a good set of roots. The plant itself looks reasonably healthy. So I've got a lot of hopes for this, that it might look, uh, might cope well with being potted up again. What I've done is I've prepared some soil that's very, very sandy. I've used got soil from my garden with about 50% horticultural sand. And I'm hoping that the root, the new roots that have developed here, that I've already shown you, will like this mix and develop quite a bit better. And I'm going to use a clay pot. I always use clay pot for, pots for succulents for several reasons. One, in the plastic pots, salts tend to develop. In clay pots like these, salts accumulate on the outside of the pot and you can see the salts there, how they've discoloured this uh, clay pot here. Um, but they, as I say, they leach through the clay in the pot and um, what they do is don't damage the plant. So it's a way of reducing damage. So what I'm going to do now is put some soil in the pot and pop the plant up to its base. So what I'll do is hold the plant here. I'll put some soil in the pot. You can see the roots there. And I'll completely cover the roots in soil so the plant is sitting in the pot. And you can see <clears throat> it's now sitting in the pot. And I'll give it a good watering and probably put some stones around the top just for decorative purposes. And we'll see if this plant continues growing. I hope it flowers, it would be nice because it's got an interesting flower spike, but somehow I don't think it'll do that this year. So here we go, rooting how worth he is in water. You do need to submerge the roots completely for, to get them to grow. Um, my other two plants, we'll just have to see whether they develop as many roots as this one. Time will tell.